Chalica Shorts, Chalica Shorts. This is a Chalica Short. Yeah! Hi, my name is Patty Kelly and I'm here to talk about the fifth principle, which states that we believe in the right of conscience and the use of the democratic process within our congregations and in society at large. Simply put, this means we believe everyone has a voice and has the right to use it. I do not believe that only the loudest, most powerful, or most persistent voices are the ones we should always listen to. Everyone has a voice. The way I try to live out this principle within our congregation is, first of all, attending congregational meetings, being a voting member of the congregation. I was also fortunate this last year to be able to serve on the nominating committee and to help, help to nominate some truly excellent members of the Board of Trustees. This is a very important position because our church governance structure is that of representative democracy. We are able to vote directly on some things, but we rely on our board of trustees to make decisions about other things. I have served on a church board before, and I know what a weighty responsibility this is, but also what an honor and privilege it is. And we have an excellent board looking out for the best interests of our church. On a societal level, there are other things I and many members of the congregation do to try to further the democratic process and improve it for everyone. Like many people, I voted as soon as I was eligible and always have, but in 2008, I realized that if I want our country to move in a different direction, I had to do more than just vote. So I started working on political campaigns and I've done that ever since. It's not that I love it. I don't love always knocking on doors or making phone calls, but I'm fortunate to have the flexibility and the ability to do this. And I'm lucky because I've met people in every sort of neighborhood, all kinds of people who really care about our democracy and want to make a difference. And one most fundamental way that I try to help people be able to make a difference is by registering new voters. I do this in a number of different ways. First of all, you, you, the vote. You've probably heard of that. We just finished a campaign through our denominational group that is a nonpartisan effort to increase voter registration and participation. As um, Reverend Susan Frederick Gray, our UUA president, told us, this is faithful, moral action. If we truly believe in the inherent worth and dignity of every person, then we need to make sure that all people have a voice. I also do this through the League of Women Voters. Uh, just this morning, I was at a naturalization ceremony. These are planned by our own Linda Miltner through the League, and we witnessed 50 new citizens from 29 different countries joining our nation. And it was so inspiring to see that they really believe in the promise of this country. Our democracy is very imperfect, but the only way it's going to get better is if we try to work towards a more perfect union. I try in my small way to do that, and I hope that you will too. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Philip Schaefer, and this morning I'm talking about the fifth principle, which is the right of conscience and the use of the democratic process within our congregation and society at large. Uh, I mostly want to talk about the second half of that, the use of the democratic process in society at large, uh, especially going beyond the ballot box. Uh, I've developed a personal mindset of being a citizen first rather than a consumer. Uh, and this stems from uh, the climate crisis, which is uh, something that is dear to me and I think about and work on all the time. Uh, speaking for myself, I've really had to uh, push myself to work with other people, pushing my boundaries of what I'm comfortable with, and through that, building community and trust uh, to create things and accomplish things that I cannot do by myself. Uh, I really think that voting is only half the battle. Uh, it's very important half, uh, but we must also continually show up and push our elected leaders uh, to help us create the world in which we want to live. Uh, the world is a challenging place, uh, so we must, we may as well work together and create a brighter future with friends new and old. Thank you.